And welcome back to Nakuru. We are inside the offices of Resma Motos and they are so luxurious. Honestly, as soon as I walked into the gate, I gasped because I got to see this project before and the transformation is just out of this world. Now, the main things I really want to touch on, there's a lot I want to touch on because really the quality of work, as I said, out of this world. I want to touch on the signage where you can see a perfect example right here in the reception. I want to touch on what transformation we did and the main thing I want you guys to keep in mind is the name of the game for this video is giving this place a facelift, making it more luxurious. So mainly the things I'm going to be talking about are going to involve, you know, modernizing the space and making it feel newer and more welcoming. We've created partitions. There's amazing colors on the walls. We've done a lot of artwork and you're going to be seeing more signage like this throughout the property. With that said, we can start the tour and the perfect place to start is in this reception because it did not exist at all. So what was in this space before? It was actually very empty. It wasn't really being used for anything. And when we came in, we were like, what a waste. This is an office space selling luxurious cars. I actually will give you a glimpse towards the end of the video just to see why we went all out for this office. So when we came in, we were like, this could be the perfect location for having a reception, walking in, honestly, I would trust this business to sell me any car and I would be fully confident that it's actually going to be a good product. You can see the kind of desk we've put here. Obviously with Fine Urban Interiors, if you've been watching us for any length of time, you know we customize things. So of course we built this in and made sure that every last touch was up to our standard. You can see we've gone with something quite unique. It's not like a boring slab of just stone, which can look good sometimes, but again, we wanted to make a really huge impression as soon as you walked in. So we went with contrasting touches. You can see on top, we've gone with more of like a stone touch. Over here, we have the grained dark wood, and then we've gone for this very clean white board to finish it off. And then the beautiful touch, honestly, I think white and gold is just something else. It's quite luxurious. You can see we have the gold against the white and it really, really stands out. But obviously there's the star of the show. You guys know we like to play around with light a lot. So we have done some cove lighting around that just to highlight it further. And I think the result of just the desk alone is just so eye-catching. So of course, motion is very, very important. And also ventilation and light, such things are very, vital when you're designing a space where you want people to come in and get a very good impression of the space that you have created. So having all these windows obviously really help with that. And if you take a closer look, we have grills on there and this beautiful dark color that is contrasting against the light color that we've actually gone for for the wall. And there's these small things that we tend to do for some of these projects that might not seem like they make a huge impact until you really think about it. And I think the grand example for this project is the types of windows that we've actually put in. You guys know we really love a good glass and aluminum type of window, and that's exactly what we've done. The impact this has, it gives a more 
smooth finish on the exterior so there's not like a lot of barriers and stuff like that so it just gives a more classy clean finish to everything and it's also very much easier to operate just sliding open and closed so we've done that throughout this entire office and I think the contrast of the black against all the lighter colors just looks gorgeous throughout the office now what's the next part of course if you're gonna have a reception you want to have some comfortable seats and I cannot ignore the harmony of this entire space I talked so much about this section here but the view from this point seeing how everything correlates with each other and then having that wood that is also down here at the back is just one of those touches that shows that the interior designer really understood the assignment we have the same gold lettering we have that gorgeous welcome sign on the side and not to miss out we have these three pendant lights with the rope it's just such a gorgeous touch that just adds another sense of luxury and modernity to this reception area now another thing you have to think about is this is where you're going to be you know receiving your customers they need somewhere to sit down and we have designated space for that we have the seats we have a table you can see we have some magazines where you could be very comfortable as you wait to be called into the office personally I would feel very confident walking in here and feeling like I'm going to leave with a good product. And that is a check when it comes to what Fine Urban Interiors has done in this space alone. Now, as we move forward, we have now the office spaces. Once you are done at the reception, this is where you'd walk in to come to the office. Now, before we did anything, the reception was actually here. So you can see why we were like, we can actually have the reception right at the entrance instead of taking up unnecessary space and therefore creating more room for more offices. So let's go into the first one over here, but obviously we're not just going to ignore the type of partition we've done, but I will be going more in depth about that. Let's just take a look at the interior. Here we have an office that can accommodate up to four people. These four people had to be cramped in a totally different space in this office. Meanwhile, the space at the front was completely empty and this was the reception. That is just not adding up to me. So the fact that we've been able to create an office that is very comfortable, as it should. If you've ever done any office work, you know how important it is to have a space where you feel comfortable because you have to sit down for hours and take care of calls and paperwork and all that stuff. So that was very, very important for us to do. They have the freedom of movement. No one is going to get into anyone's way. I'm trying to think of whoever is going to be sitting here and whoever's gonna be sitting on that end. So if we did not leave enough space, there would be this issue of, hey, you need to get up and move and I'd have to move the chair so that I can get out. But because we have enough space, you can easily move the desk, create as much space as you want. And we don't have that issue of, okay, this person has to be inconvenienced every time someone else has to leave the office. and. Also, over here, we have ample light. As I said, it's going to be a lot of paperwork, phone calls. You don't want an office that is going to be dark. So having those sliding aluminum windows here also great, plays a really big part. We made sure that the grills were not a design that was too busy that was actually going to obstruct all that light. So you can tell while I'm standing in here, that there's ample light for both the people on this side and also on the other side. Now that is greatly helped by the fact that the types of partitions that we've done are also aluminum and glass for this particular section. So we've kept it very open. You can see the top section open, lets in so much light. You can see we have a very great design of some parts of the glass actually being completely see-through and some of them having this frosted design where it actually creates privacy because Again, it's an office, you do need that sense of privacy. You don't want anyone who's using the hallway outside to constantly be causing interruptions because let me tell you guys, one thing about me is if I'm sitting here and I'm working and this glass is completely clear and people are passing, I'm definitely going to keep looking up. So that will really help when it comes to concentration as well because the last thing you wanna do is create a distraction. And then on this opposite end, I really love this idea because it's not really your colleagues that tend to be the problem. It's just like anybody else that is interacting with the space around you. So having this side of it very clear, 
creates a sense of actually more space. It gives that illusion of having a very big white space and not feeling cramped at all. But also, you know, you're able to see your colleagues on the other end and it's, you know, it's fine. So the way the structure was initially constructed, there wasn't a large consideration when it came to light and space. And that's why we were like, we really need to find a very uniform way where we can make it feel luxurious with actually, you know, not having that opportunity to use different tiles because we don't want it to seem too busy. The space is as small enough as it is. There's not a lot of light, but again, we wanted something that was going to be so striking. That's why we decided to do uniform tile throughout, but it's something that stands out so much. And again, the only reason we were able to do that is by understanding the type of materials that we were choosing for this project and the purposes that they were meant to serve in this space. You can see I've talked about the paint on the wall. We have gone for light colors and creating contrast with the type of furniture that's here. But also, I don't know if you guys have picked up on this. I always talk about flow in all the projects that we do. The wood, have you noticed the wood of the desk is very similar to what we have at the reception. I love things like that because it's just like a breath of fresh air because you're like, I can see that there was thought put into that. So I really enjoy that aspect. But before we leave, obviously we're not going to ignore this masterpiece. And this might actually look kind of familiar to you guys, not the design, but the fact that fine urban interiors, we do tend to do hand painted murals on the walls. And this is ideal. Like this is a car sales office. So of course we're going to have cars on the wall. And I love the fact that it's a vintage car. So it's not really something that, you know, someone will walk in and be like, oh, I've seen that car inside. It just creates something very visually interesting. And that really fits the theme of the office because it doesn't really need to be boring because it's an office. You know, sometimes people feel like if you're in a corporate space, it needs to feel very clinical, but this is something playful that still fits in incredibly well with the theme of the office. Now you'll see several pieces like that throughout the entire space. And I really do want to give a shout out to the artists that we work with, but I will be doing that on a much bigger mural that we have back there that I can't wait to show you guys. Now let's go into the next office, which is actually the one you can see right there. But in there, I just want to focus on maybe the gypsum because I haven't talked about the gypsum. The two spaces share the same gypsum design, which is also, you know, incorporated here into the hallway. So in here, let's just take a good look at the gypsum. It is gorgeous. I love that dynamic design. You know, the thing that Fine Urban Interiors does excellently without fail is just coming up with these designs for different spaces that are always just awe-inspiring. Like I've seen some pretty incredible designs and if you've been watching, you've also seen them, but it never ceases to, ama uh, ceases to amaze me the way they still come up with designs where you can still be like, wow, I've never seen that before. And this is one of them. And I, I have to say, it cannot be easy to create this design if you've ever seen the process of doing gypsum. You know, people tend to go with simpler designs because they tend to be a bit easier, but something like this is just so interesting kit and also with the lights we have the recess lights which of course we really like so we actually intentionally kept the lights white because if you know anything about choosing different lights for different spaces they tend to say that white lights are better for office spaces because it increases focus and concentration and of course that's what you want to do you don't want anything that's too warm that's going to make people feel very drowsy so that was the intention of keeping the lights very very bright so here you can see we also have those wooden desks flow you can see having this glass here is not a problem at all because we did keep in mind that we wanted to create harmony so of course we made sure that if we're gonna have glass there, all the furniture really needed to have the same feel. You can see another wall mural here that mimics the one that's on the other side. I actually think they're supposed to be facing each other. Again, that's just another touch that adds in that factor of being harmonious and making like the spaces feel together and you know creating that sense of family i know it is an office but sometimes you never want to feel like oh someone's office makes you feel like you're inferior it really just makes this entire office feel like a space where uh 
like a family works together, people who can easily talk to each other. I think that's one of the greatest effects I can say walking through this space. Now, I did say you're going to see a lot of signage throughout this entire project, and here is a grand example. I think these are some great values. You have trust, you have excellence, accountability, collaboration, innovation, gratitude, and service. It's just such a great uh, piece of art, I would say, but it's also very functional. I enjoy it, I enjoy the contrast. I enjoy the font. Believe it or not, some fonts just would not evoke that sense of grandeur, but this font I think just works perfectly. The size is excellent. And another piece I feel like I could go on and on and on about, it's just another thing that makes an office space feel less boring and modernizes it a, a lot. So we can go on and take a look at more offices. So back here, we have more private offices. I know you guys are probably wondering why they're low, but this actually kind of shows you how old the building is, how by seeing how low all the entrances were actually made, you can kind of age the building. But back here, we have more offices that are supposed to be private that might be handling things that are a bit more sensitive. So we still wanted to make this space feel like something that's exciting so that the people back here do not feel very left out. So of course we did a grand mural. Like look at this. It's another vintage car. It's in a vintage petrol station and we have the name of the business right on top. That's Resma Motos, where you can get trusted services and you know, any type of car you need, whether it's high end, you know, if you're looking for something like a Mercedes, you know, or you want something on the lower end, if you're looking for like a Toyota, totally they have everything. And you can come here and really, it's a guarantee of the best service, but we wanted to really represent the brand throughout. Throughout the office, we wanted reminders of, hey, your Resma Motos, and you know, <laughs> this is one of the best representations. Here we have some more offices. We did a lot of work in this section in terms of just the partitions. That was a major thing when it came to this project was creating those partitions in creative ways. You saw up front, we did the glass because it's more open area, it's less private. But back here, we wanted to create things that felt more solid. The name of the game is modernization. So what did we do? We used gypsum. Like I'm used to talking about gypsum and the ceilings. Oh, it's gorgeous. We've done so many designs. Look up, actually, this is another <laughs> gypsum design that's actually very similar to the one that we saw in the other section of the offices. It's gorgeous as always. But yeah, we also use gypsum in a very different way. All this, all this is gypsum we've used to create petition. Here we have two more offices. We can take a look at one of them. So in here, I think I'm glad we actually have an office that doesn't have any furniture in it because you actually get a good uh, sense of the size of it. And we've all been in offices in Kenya. We know there's a standard feel and I have to say, if this is what offices look like, I would be more than happy to, you know, go different places and wait in people's offices because the environment is genuinely beautiful. And then this wall here, that's gypsum. We use that as partition, but it's actually thick enough where it's not just a single board because I've seen that done as well. It feels very flimsy, but all the partitions that we've done for these offices are quite thick we did not do like one single panel and overall i think you guys have noticed as we're walking through light was a great consideration we don't have the largest windows but we did the best we could with that by opening up places like this we would be neglecting a huge huge factor because i have to say that it is important to have those steps where we do talk to the client and get a really good look at the place before we come in and start demolishing things and that's why we're able to do things like this where like we have to consider light every inch of this place we have to consider how much light and ventilation it gets so 
if you see a window like this and you might be like, that's a bit awkward. I actually don't think it's awkward. It makes a lot of sense. You know, it's a good place to peek in and see if someone's busy if you really need to talk to them. But if you're feeling like that's a bit awkward, think of it like this. It's very, very functional. We have a window right here that's getting natural light from the outside. It's now able to transfer that light directly through into the office. I enjoy the fact that we have enough room to have seating. So if you're waiting to go inside and talk to the people in the office, you have somewhere to sit. This wouldn't be possible if we were just like, hey, let's just make these offices as big as possible and just push them out. We would really severely cramp this area and there would be no movement at all. And as you know, I always say this, I enjoy movement flow in a space because the last thing you wanna do is do one of these where you're like going to the side because there's just not enough room. So seeing that we actually have enough space to put seating for the customers who come in, I think just elevates the experience. Guys, really, I think by the end of this video, I'll be buying a car from Red's Mamotos because I wanna come back here. So obviously no office is complete without a bathroom. Unfortunately, I've had the experience of working somewhere where it did not have its own designated bathroom and you had to go all the way outside to use the bathroom and that was just unfortunate. But luckily for the people who work here, they do have the bathroom. This was a space that did exist, but again, we wanted to elevate it. You can see that the paint colors are uniform throughout. Again, it's just to create that flow and also if I, th I feel like if it was like a bigger space, we would maybe go with something a bit different in the color out here. But because it's a smaller space, it's better to create that uniformity because it gives the illusion of a bigger space. You can see now the door is open, the color matches all throughout into the hallway. So that gives that sense of a bigger space. We have the mirror over here. I, this makes me so happy as a woman. It really makes me happy because you know you have to check your outfit. Okay, I know it's an office, but who doesn't want to check their suit? You know, you want to come in here and make sure that you still look professional. You know, you don't have any lipstick on your teeth. It's just a good space and it just elevates the design of the space. Because I'm trying to imagine if we had one of those stand standard sized mirrors, the really tiny ones, that for some reason always tend to be like really eroded and like not great and like really dirty but we have this full length mirror that is adds a, like a textural element because of the design it's not like a basic type of frame it has a bit of color on it it's just such an interesting piece to look at and again it's very functional and then right next to it we have another piece remember guys flow harmony you've seen this before one we have like three of these at the reception and we have one right here it creates that flow but again it's just that design element that makes things eye-catching and elevates the space. We can talk about the ladies' bathroom where we actually get to play around with different tiles. You can see for the wall tiles, we've gotten with something very light. It has a bit of gray in it, but the floors stay consistent. We still have the striking black granite tile on the floor. And again, it is quite a small space, so having lighter tiles on the wall just works too increase the sense of size in here and then also it just feels really hygienic when you have white house because it ensured that whoever is going to clean it is going to do a really great job because if it's not you're definitely going to be able to tell now here we have a standard side sink we have a mirror again honestly i don't think i'd use this one i just wait and go outside but if you do want a bit more privacy when you're maybe touching up your makeup in here you do have the option of doing that and not just being out where maybe uh, other people are moving about of course over here we have another small section where you do have a toilet bowl and it really serves its function it doesn't need to be too embellished because we need it for a very specific function if this was someone's home of course you know we'd you know embellish it with all that stuff but i think with a space like this it's very good to understand this is what this space needs to do this is what this next space needs to do and overall i really don't feel like we've neglected anything so over here is the men's bathroom as i said i am not going in there but from what i can peek in and see we do have urinals which are important i found that there's some places that neglect that they just give them a standard size uh, toilet bowl, but I think the inclusion of the urinals just uh, makes sure that that space can be used by multiple people So we do have several urinals. We also have a private toilet bowl behind the door because of course we have it behind the door And then we also have a sink and a mirror So everybody that comes to use this space it feels very private 
But another thing I really appreciate about the entire space is the factor of light and ventilation. If there's any space in this entire project that should have maximum ventilation, of course, is the bathroom. So I did say we did a lot of work when it came to the walls, and this was one of the places that really exemplified why we needed to do that. These entire walls from top to bottom were covered in that wooden board that just made no sense. And you can tell it's narrow. It's narrow it just could not accommodate that it was just making this hallway feel so cramped so small so dark now there's clever ways to create contrast and have those darker features without sacrificing the aesthetic of the entire place because as much as it was still very functional it was the same space it just felt so so different so you can see we replaced that sense of having that deep contrast with the tiles which work well but kept everything else light and i'll tell you personally it feels so much bigger walking here even though we did not really expand the space at all and i think that is the magic of you know being an interior designer and doing interior design and really understanding your craft and most of all having passion for what you do if there's anything i've learned you know doing this job is that this is not the type of work you can do if you do not genuinely have a passion for it because in every single element that i've mentioned throughout this video it took foresight it took sitting down and really understanding what your project is and really like honing in and zooming in on that and coming out with very strategic ways that you could actually get what the client wants and also create something that is so elevated and so luxurious. So guys, it's been such a great tour and now we're wrapping it up. I really enjoyed getting to walk around and see the fact that no matter how old your building is or you know whether it's a commercial space or a residence, you can always call us and we'll be able to transform your space and make it feel very modern. You guys will get to see it, like the transformation, what this place was before and what we've been able to do to accomplish what we have in there right now. I'm still flabbergasted. My jaw is on the floor and I hope you guys really get that feeling of what we've done because it's been a lot of work. And obviously behind me, you can see that the outside really does reflect what's on the inside. It's gorgeous. We have all these lovely cars around, you know. Hope, hopefully I'll get to drive one soon. <laughs> but with that said, do not forget to let us know your opinions. We always like reading all your comments. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, but don't forget. Turn on your notification bell because that's the only way that is guaranteed that you'll always know every single time we have a new video up on YouTube. But if that's not your thing, we are on all other social media platforms. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now we're also on TikTok. We're all at Fine Urban Interiors. And thank you for staying with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.